Hello everyone. Today we are talking about something that can make a huge difference in how we feel about our homes and that is decluttering. I know firsthand that our homes can feel a bit chaotic sometimes, but with just a little bit of effort, you can completely transform your space and in turn, fall in love with it all over again. And we are going to start here in my sunroom. Now this is a room that I actually really love, but with all of this clutter in here, I just don't ever want to come into this room. It makes me feel overwhelmed, it makes me feel stressed out and anxious. And I just feel like I can't think because of all of the things that are surrounding me. So we're just going to go through every single item one by one, get rid of what we don't need and organize the things that are left. I like to do three different piles. I like a keep pile, a donate pile and a trash pile. If I've got those three, I feel like I can finally start to feel a little bit of relief in that chaotic feeling in my brain. I have noticed over the years that if there is places in my house that are really cluttered and it's hard for me to find things or I just start to feel as if I have way too many things for my mind to be able to even process that if I do a good decluttering in those spaces or in those rooms, I just start to notice I just love my house more. I just start to... I start to want to do more projects. I start to want to renovate and decorate it and make it feel more beautiful. I even start to be a person who wants to have people over more just because it feels better. And when I'm looking for things, they don't all get lost. So this room, it became this way because I use it, I use it for filming my thrift hauls. And I have a bad habit when I'm done. I just leave all my stuff in the floor and I say, I'll get it later. But the problem is later doesn't come until much, much, much later. And it should be sooner rather than super later <laughs> or whatever the wording I'm trying to say is. Anyways, we got a lot of my extra decor into these totes. Within our home, we have a lot of places that are not done yet so I can't decorate them. So I just store all of my decor for now. referring to as my Monica closet. This is the closet where since we have moved in, I have just put every single thing that I possibly could in here. If we found something in the house and said, I don't know what to do with that closet. If there's somewhere where I just don't want to, I don't want to organize that particular thing, closet. So while other parts of the house may look good and pretty and kind of put together, this is the place where every bit of junk has gone. So I am so ready to get this stuff out and get it looking a lot more put together. And you know what? I'm actually excited because I don't know what I'm going to find in here. There might be some hidden treasures. Well, I know that decluttering, it might not sound like the most glamorous thing, Trust me, it is really powerful. When we hold on to too much, our spaces can start to feel very overwhelming. And for me personally, it can be very hard for me to relax and to enjoy the home that I've worked so hard to decorate and make beautiful. I just don't feel nearly as comfortable as I do when things are not so crazy and needing lots of cleaning out. So now we have a pile of stuff here and then you go into this room here and we have all of the stuff that came out. Oh my goodness, how did all of this even fit in there? It's crazy, this is not that big of a closet. If you are wondering how you can even get started, I will give you a few tips that I like to follow. I am not a professional organizer or decluttering person, but this is just what helps me not become overwhelmed by it because it can be emotionally taxing 
to go through things and get rid of stuff that at one time you probably really loved. So I like to start with one section. So even if I'm wanting to declutter a whole room, I will actually start in one corner or one shelf, one drawer, you know, wh wherever you're working, you don't have to do the whole room in one day. I did not do these projects all in one day. You'll notice and at some points that my outfit looks different or my hair looks different. That's because honestly, it is just way too much to try and do all of this stuff at one time. Um, it actually starts to feel as if I am overwhelmed and the whole point of decluttering is to feel less that way. So just take it slow, give yourself some grace and do one little place at a time. cluttered you can truly appreciate its beauty and its charm you'll have more room to display the things you love whether it's a vintage piece if you're like me and you love vintage stuff <laughs> from your favorite thrift store or a cozy corner that you styled just right it just feels like you're getting a fresh start for your home and for your heart and your mind and those kinds of things can be absolutely life-changing for me and I'm sure for you as well. So I just really encourage you to just pick one area, pick one little space that you can begin to work on. Don't overwhelm yourself. Even if you have a dresser that you wanted to clutter, you only have to do one drawer at a time. Don't worry about trying to rush through it. Let the process itself kind of have its own rhythm without it creating a new form of stress for you. I hope that this video is giving you some inspiration to start your own decluttering journey. I promise you that you will feel so much lighter and more peaceful and more in tune with your home. So I would love to know if you are going to start a decluttering project, what is a space that you would start with? What's a place that's really bothering you that you really want to get done? For me, it was these two closets in my home and my sunroom and I feel I just feel so much lighter and so much better so I hope that you are having a wonderful day or night whatever time it is that you're watching this God bless each and every one of you and I will see you next time bye